Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. I hope you've been doing well. Uh, let's look at today's article. The article title is, Is it salty enough? Enough means what you need, right? The amount that you need. So is it salty enough is a question. So we know what salt is. Salt is what we put on our foods to give it more flavor. So we're seeing, if you look at the picture, it says eat less salt. So maybe salt really isn't a good thing. Well, let's find out. It says, who doesn't like burgers? Sangyeopsal and cup ramen, right? So these are kinds of foods that everyone eats. A lot of people eat this. So these salty foods, they all have something in common. They're all salty, have become an indispensable part of our lives. So indispensable, let's break this down. Dispense means throw away. So indispensable means you cannot throw away. And it means we cannot throw away because it's so important. It's such a part of our lives that we can't get rid of it. So can you imagine a world without burgers or samgyeopsal or ramen, right? So because those things are so part of our lives, such a big part of our lives, we say it's indispensable, right? So it's an indispensable part of our lives. We can't even imagine a world without them. The salt in these foods are used for giving food more flavor and also to preserve it. So flavor means it tastes better or we can taste it better. And flavor uh, and preserve it means to save it. So if I want to preserve something, that means I want to keep it in the same condition for a long time. So many times, uh, if you have just a regular burger, then we have to eat it quickly or else it's going to spoil, it's going to smell bad and we can't eat it anymore. But many times in hamburgers, like the, the materials in the hamburgers, like cheese, inside the bread, inside the meat, they put preservatives or things to help it stay fresh longer. So these foods, like burgers and kam ramen, they have a lot of preservatives. Uh, the chemicals that they put in there to make sure that it lasts much longer, stays fresh longer. So those uh, foods have salt and preservatives in it. The sodium from salt is important. Sodium is the white substance that makes salt uh, salty. It helps us control our blood pressure and regulate the body's muscles and nerves. So let's look at that sentence for a second. It helps us control our blood pressure. Our blood pressure, you know what blood is, it's the red liquid in our body. Uh, the blood pressure is how strong the heart is pumping out the blood from our hearts. So if you have a high blood pressure, that means your heart is pumping out the blood very hard and that's not very good for your health. Uh, and regulate, regulate means keep it normal, right? So you see the root word regular or regulate, that means keep it normal. So it keeps our blood pressure and our body's muscles and nerves. Nerves are kind of like those lines that are connected to our brain. And when our brain wants our hand to move, the nerves in our body, it helps us uh, to tell what tell our arms what our brain wants to do. So those are the nerves. So it keeps our blood pressure, it keeps our muscles, right? What keeps us strong and our nerves, the connection to our brain, it keeps all of that normal, okay? So that's what sodium does and it's very important or salt. Uh, the problem is most of the food we eat today contains too much salt because the modern diet consists of excess sodium levels. This can lead to high blood pressure heart disease and stroke. So that means the problem is even though that salt can be good for us, the foods that we eat these days, right? Like burgers, hangyeopsal <clears throat> and kam ramen, those have too much sodium, too much salt in it. And because of excess sodium levels, excess means too much, more than what we need. Um, so because there's too much sodium in the foods that we eat today, it's causing problems with our blood pressure, making our heart pump too strong it's causing different, uh, different heart diseases and stroke. Stroke is when part of your uh, body cannot function anymore because the muscles don't work. So these are serious diseases caused by our diet, the kind of food that we eat. So before we think that diet was when you're going on a diet, losing weight, but diet also means the kind of foods that you eat. So if I eat a lot of food like burgers, hangyeopsal and kam ramen, then that's what my diet is consisting of or that's what my diet is made of, the food that I eat. So unless we fix the type of food we eat, we can face these kinds of serious heart problems. Okay, let's finish out the article. It says the US uh, Center for Disease Control and Prevention issued a new warning. So this is the United States Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Disease control means they're trying to control uh, the problems, the bad things like the germs and diseases. And prevention, prevention means stop from happening. So this is the center or this is the organization that works together to make sure that people are safe and healthy. 
So they issued, they said, a new warning. They gave a new warning that almost 90% of children are consuming more sodium than the daily recommended limit. So according to their studies in America, almost 90% of children are eating. Consuming means eating. So consuming more sodium than the daily recommended limit. So recommended means you should, right? So the amount that we should eat on a level uh, every day, they're going above it. They're exceeding it, right? So they're uh, consuming more sodium than what they feel that a healthy child should. So it says here, they also stated that one in nine children between the ages of eight and 17 are already at risk of high blood pressure. So that means out of every nine, one of those children who are between eight years old and 17 years old, they're already going to uh, more likely have high blood pressure. So that means uh, it's not very good. It shows us that the diet of many young children uh, consists of a lot of these sodium rich foods. Okay? So this study is kind of scary. It's alarming. So sodium can be found in almost everything we eat especially in instant and fast food. So instant food, kind of like ramyun, right? That's instant food. Uh, and fast foods are like hamburgers, pizza, chicken, those things that we get right away at the stores. So these foods contain a lot of these things that are not good for our health. So it says before it's too late, people must keep track and reduce their sodium intake on a daily basis. So before it's too late, people must keep track Keep track means uh, you are looking at how much uh, you're taking in, right? So you're focusing, you're writing it down, uh, you're recording how much sodium that you're taking in. And reduce means lower the amount. So reduce their sodium intake, how much you take in on an everyday, uh, everyday basis, right? So every day we need to keep track of how much salt we're eating. So if you eat sangyeopsal uh, and kam ramen at the same time, your sodium levels are going to go up. Right? And if your sodium levels exceed the daily amount, if it goes too much more than what you should eat, then you might have a lot of heart issues in the future. So this is kind of uh, an eye-opening eye article. So you need to really watch what you eat if you want to be healthy in the future. So let's look at our questions for today. It says, why is the sodium from salt important? So I think you might have glimpsed at the answer, but it says it helps us control our what? and regulate the body's muscles and nerves. So regulate means keep normal. So it controls our, what is very important? Our blood pressure. Once again, blood pressure is how fast, right? Or how strong the heart pumps in order to get the blood out to the rest of our body. And the more your heart works, right? Then the, the harder it is for you to breathe. So that's something that's very important, blood pressure. So here B, what is the problem of the food we eat today? So what's the problem? It's not delicious enough. It's not it contains too much. What's not good for us? That's right, it contains too much salt or sodium. Sodium is inside the salt. And the last question, what does excess sodium lead to? And we said excess means more than enough, right? More than what I need. So if I have too much sodium, what, what happens? And it says this can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and what do we talk about? It's that problem when part of your body may not function well, it may not work because the muscles don't work. And we said that that is a stroke. So I've seen uh, elderly people, older people who've had strokes, who have a hard time moving uh, their arm or being able to walk because their muscles don't work anymore uh, because the blood wasn't able to get there. And that's what a stroke is. It's very scary, it's very dangerous. Let's look at the last part of today's article. So today, let's fill in the blanks here. It says, these salty foods have become a uh, or un part of our lives. So if you look at the Korean, I, I believe there's context clue there saying that we cannot um, live without it because it's so important. It's such a part of our lives. And that's the word we talked about, indispensable. We cannot imagine a life without it because it's such a great part of our lives. It's indispensable. So it's an indispensable part of our lives. It helps us something our blood pressure and regulate the body's muscles and nerves. So when we talk about uh, sodium or salt, what does it help us do? What does it do to our blood pressure? It helps us control, right? We can manage it better, okay? So it's not going to go all over the place. So we can control our blood pressure and regulate, keep normal our body's muscles and nerves. Let's look at the last question. The problem is most of the food we eat today, something too much salt. So what about the food that we eat, okay? So it says here, it contains or it has inside of it 
the food that we eat has too much salt. Well, I don't know about you, but I know I eat a lot of the food that we talked about today because it tastes so good. But at the same time, you also need to think about what it might do to your body. So today's article was a very important one. Uh, I hope that you remember it. And the next time you think about eating all those instant food and fast food, think about your heart. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.